Mel Brooks fight Triple G. And, um, you know, you guys was crazy about Triple G talking. Our Triple G was such, you know, an unbelievable fighter. He's okay. I mean, straight up and down, no special effects. I mean, even at the age of 40. But I'm not looking forward to fighting Triple G, but that'd be easy. You know, um, I mean, of course, you know that. I mean, what's under, you know, what's understood ain't really got to be talked about. Huh, say it again? No, I can't. I'm, I can't. You know, I can't go up to middleweight. I never was a 154-pounder. And, uh, you know, like I said before, when the history books is written, you know, when you look at the records, hate it or love it, they're going to say Floyd Mayweather was a winner. And I was watching a fight when I was at, I was at my Miami house. My, I was at my Miami home. I was watching a fight with uh, uh, Clisco and, and the guy Joshua. And they said that um, this is electrifying, sort of like the Pacquiao and Mayweather. And I said, well, we didn't have to have all those hundreds of thousands to do a $74 million gate. So, and like I said before, but those guys put on a hell of a show. Like I said before, you know, I'm just on another planet. Here you have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a salty, bitter individual in Floyd Mayweather. He's salty and bitter, and he's jealous of Gennady Golovkin and Anthony Joshua. But one thing about Floyd Mayweather, he's a terrific, he's a genius. He's a great con artist. He was able to con fans into believing he's TBE. He conned fans into believing he was cleaning up the sport of boxing ball using USADA to test the hell out of his opponents while he's getting TUEs three weeks after the fights. He was a very strategic fighter. I give him that. Very brilliant, smart fighter. And I like the way he fought guys like De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao. Piggyback off their name, basically. And brags about his pay-per-view numbers. Oh, I fought De La Hoya. I did these type of numbers. I fought Pacquiao. We broke all these records. Piggyback off of those guys' names. And then he claimed the records as his own. He's a very, like I said, he's very brilliant and strategic. He's a smart individual, man. Good, Great con artist. And he's going to con you guys again by fighting Conor McGregor, a guy who's never fought a day in his life. And he's probably going to make around three to four hundred million. <laughs> so, hey, man, however you can keep conning the fans and getting away with it, making money. Get your money any way you can get it, bro. I don't care how you're getting your money, whether you're conning fans, whether you're slanging, selling, uh, shooting, whatever you're doing. Get your money, bro. I ain't no hater. Get it however you get it. But all this hating and jealousy in your heart, this shit need to stop, man. Y'all out here hating on Gennady Golovkin, lying and shit, talking about you can't make 154 when your ass held the WBA title. How the fuck you can't make 154 when you was a 154-pound champion, then you lied and said you was dehydrated for the Manny Pacquiao fight. That's why you needed the illegal IV. Stop lying. Stop motherfucking lying. Talking about, I ain't never fought at 154. I can't make 160. You know good goddamn well, Gennady Golovkin to whoop your ass from Genesis to Revelations. Talking about he easy work. Yeah, if he easy work, why don't you get your mother-loving ass in the ring with him? If Triple G is such easy work, then he want to diss Anthony Joshua. I didn't need a 74,000 74, uh, fans to do a $100 million gate and all this bullshit. You jealous of a young man out here knocking out dudes, just beat Klitschko, doing everything a fighter is supposed to do, and you jealous of that shit. Jealous of Anthony Joshua, a kid who just came on the scene. Shit don't make no type of sense, man. The jealousy and envy, bitterness and saltiness in this guy's heart, man. You need to give your heart to God, bro. Give your heart to the Lord, man, because you got a lot of bitterness in your heart. You're jealous of Triple G and you're jealous of Anthony Joshua, and it's quite evident. You guys let me know what y'all think, man. Drop me a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe. Damn jealousy. Don't make no motherfucking sense, man.